Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tim Payne here. I want to do a short little video on my testimony and how God has led me to serve Him. It was a pretty hardcore experience. It was uh, 11 years in the making and I want to show it to you and tell it to you and express it to you so that you can get encouraged, that you can get fired up to serve Jesus and to push on even until you die. So I want to fire you up and get motivated. I tried for Special Forces on four separate occasions when I joined the Army at 20 years old in 2003. In the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 3, it says all that are called to serve in war are the ages of 20 and above. And then also in the book of Numbers, chapter 4, verse 3, it says all that are called to serve God are the ages of 30 up until 50. So I didn't even know about any of this stuff. If you look at my contract, it says no religious preference. But my heart was in it for the war. I wanted to fight the war. I wanted to help end this war. And I wanted to, to do it righteously. And I, and I want to leave my fallen comrades behind. So let's talk about my career real quick. So I tried out for Army Rangers. I got hurt. I got sent to the 82nd Airborne Division. Their motto is America's Guard of Honor. Then I tried out for Special Forces after two combat deployments. I got sent on Army Recruiting the same day I was trying out. I was pretty pissed off about that. The Army Recruiting's job is to provide the strength. Then, I tried out for Special Forces after three years of recruiting, I got uh, injured and I was uh, sent to personnel recovery operations and their motto is return those personnel home with honor, kind of like people out there in the community. And then I tried out for Civil Affairs, which is the covert position in the Special Operations Command and their motto is to advise, stabilize and support. So I'm trying to help stabilize, support, and to encourage others to seek out God. So when I got deployed to Afghanistan, I was killing people. The Holy Spirit manifested himself to me and was like, hey, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And it was so powerful and so intense that it literally took me to read the Bible to put everything I went through in a context. Uh, in the book of Job, chapter 4, verse 15, it says, then the spirit passed before my face and the hairs of my flesh stood up. And that was the Holy Spirit manifesting himself, telling me if I live by the sword, I die by the sword. Well, I was bargaining with him to take both my legs in exchange that I would serve him. After I got blown up and lost both my legs the next day, it took me three years to actually face what I went through. And when I faced it and I realized that I was a sinner, I've told lies, I've stolen things, I've looked at women with lustful intent, and I've um, uh, blasphemed God's name, took the, God, took the Lord's name in vain. I realized that I broke God's perfect law, His Ten Commandments, and I was a sinner, and I didn't have Jesus. How's that going to hold up for you on God's day of judgment? Are, do you have Jesus as your sacrifice? Jesus is our sacrifice for sin. God came down in flesh to die for us so that we can be reconciled with Him on the great day of judgment. All that trust in Him are going to be safe and pass through into His kingdom. So, what He told me is uh, guard America's honor, recruit the personnel, and uh, it's a personal recovery operation in the civil affair community, telling the people, traveling throughout America, and just sharing the message that God has given me to encourage others like yourself. So I hope this was an encouragement. I hope that you repent to Jesus. And if you need help, if you need have any questions, go ahead and ask me. It's a lot of material. It's 11 years jammed in like five minutes. But get motivated. Stay focused. And if you're a struggling veteran that needs aid and support, check out the MightyOaksPrograms.org. After you go through the Legacy Program, they will give you this awesome sword. And it's a precision weapon. And the Word of God is a precision weapon. So use the Word of God, get motivated, and get fired up. God bless you.